Youngblood. I absolutely love this song, but I am a little bit biased because Dominic from Youngblood is from Doncaster. Doncaster's about 20 minutes down the road from where I was born and bred. I bought my first ever guitar from uh, Electro Music in Doncaster, or my mum did. I bought my first PA system for my first band from the same store. And I also had my first job in Doncaster as well, which was working on the tills at Boots. So yeah, I'm a little bit biased, but that's enough about me. Let's focus on this awesome song, which basically just has three chords. We're focusing on the acoustic version that Dominic released on his YouTube channel, when it's really clear he's actually playing an A sus 2 like this. He's then moving to an F sharp minor played like this, and I love this version of the F sharp um, minor chord. This is one of the most common chords in the key of A, which this song is in. And bar in it is a real wasted opportunity when we're on acoustic guitar a lot of the time, because we've got these two open strings from the ASUS 2 that we can keep ringing out like this. So ASUS 2 to F sharp minor, but with the first finger here, finger three and four, and then the thumb either muting, or preferably we can get it so it's pressing down. That's a bit more of a you know, late intermediate player, because we've got to make sure that these, then these two strings are ringing out, which you can do by practicing being able to get just enough space here, so that those thinnest two strings, string one and string two, ring out. The third chord that Dominic plays in that video is uh, just the D major chord. And we could just play those three chords throughout, which is what Dominic does. However, in the original recording, there's just a harmonic hint of the D minor chord, which I absolutely love this. This is the minor four chord in kind of diatonic chord music theory, and it's one of my favorites. It's my favorite chord progression and kind of guitar move just because of the emotion. That's the one that makes the uh, the audience cry. That's, it's a very emotional chord sequence. So Asus 2, F sharp minor with the thinnest two strings ringing out, D major, and then when we have a play along later in this video, I'm gonna be playing that D minor uh, just a couple of times in the chorus and you'll see that a little bit later. The strumming pattern that Dominic uses in his video is basically sticking to down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. We have a change of chord in a very tricky place to pull off this chord sequence, but that's what makes it sound so cool. If it was easy to do, you know, it wouldn't sound as cool. So we have down, 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 up, down, up. Hard move to make. We could make it easier for ourselves by playing the Asus 2 in this fashion, so we wouldn't have to move that first finger. It's not what Dominic does, but it would be an option for certainly some people that have never played these before. Um, so we'd have down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And then just stay on the D chord for that whole strumming uh, pattern as well. In total. I really like that D minor at the end, but that isn't what Dominic does. He actually just stays to the D chord on his version. Um, so that, a couple of tips here. Down, 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 up. On this next down, we need to be, get on your bike, as we would say in Yorkshire. Um, get on your bike to, to the next chord early and arrive on that next chord when you should strum. Don't move your strumming hand, don't pause your strumming hand. Get on your bike early change chord early, but arrive when you need to arrive on the right beat. So this would be down, 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 up, down, up. And I played one chord there, which was the last down strum I played, which was this. It was, it was nothing, but in context. And up to speed. Speed. 
inside a tip. That's what we do. We, and you can do that with all strumming patterns. The half a beat before you need to arrive on your chord, wherever that would be, get on your bike, lift off of that chord mm. early. Really slow playthrough, join in with me. This is basically the entire song, though I will also uh, show the bass line because it's a really, really cool bass line even to play on acoustic. But one more time through this strumming pattern, really slow. Two, three, four. What, should I do the same trick at the end? Same trick. D major to minor. I'll do that again. Okay, so we did the same trick there and I showed you how to do that D major to D minor progression. All I'm going to show you now is just that bass line because it sounds really cool on acoustic and it uh, defines the, the pop version of it, the original recording of it. So this is an A root note on string six, same note, same pitch as the open A, to the octave of the A, top of a power chord, slide it two frets, move back. Pick and slide, move back to that A note. Do that same thing, but change root note to the name of the chords we've just learnt. So F sharps down here at the second fret. Same slide here. And then D is here, the fifth fret of the A string. Let's have a full play along to this song. I will give you a four count in, exactly the same as Youngblood does, as Dominic does. Please play along to his video as well. I'll leave a link to it up here in, um, in the description down below. Playing along to these acoustic versions is the real thing that's going to get you better as soon as it's something that you can physically play. As soon as you can do it, attempt to play along to the recording. If it doesn't happen straight away, don't worry about it. With a chord progression like this, you have the entire song that if it stops working, if you go out of time, just stop and join in again at any point. Let's do that together so I can train you to do that and then play along to him. It'll be loads of fun. Here we go. That's Cotton Candy by Youngblood. Play along to Dominic's version, I'll leave a link to it on the screen now. Along with perhaps another song that I feel that you might enjoy. Let me know what you thought of this video down below and I hope to see you next time. Take care of yourselves, bye for now.